Hello Gloucester City fans, as the Christmas period continues, so does our Saturday preview shows and we have an extended one for you today with some great interviews. Let's get into it. First up, we are, as always, going to catch up with our gaffer, Mike Cook. So Mike, potentially make it uh, three league wins on the trot on Saturday. How's preparation been? Okay, yeah, um, just a little bit... Uh, of a concern around a couple of players just with injuries really so uh, we're gonna do a bit of training tonight see see what happens really for tomorrow so uh, it's gonna be have to be a light session and uh, you know we'll have a look at it yeah obviously you mentioned there that could be a potential few injuries is it gonna be uh, on the way that the team is set up uh, potentially yeah I mean I think the setup is is fairly uh, similar to, to what we've started off with games we, we've tended to change um, sort of mid game if we do do that a system but it's it's not really the system of play that is you know the problem with the you know you're playing a system or whether you're against a system it's really the style of play and how you play it and that that as a coach if players are comfortable coming in knowing that it, you know you're going to try and keep it a little bit more and pass it be a bit more possession based then that's really the important thing for us. Yeah, you mentioned on Tuesday you were impressed with the way that Darlington set up and how they play. Um, how are you looking to counteract that on Saturday? Well, I just think we need to do what we did against Peter Sports, which is we need to have plenty of endeavour. We need to physically be robust and make sure that um, you know we press them when they're on to be pressed and then drop into a little bit of a block when we're not going to get it. Um, and then obviously once we win it is uh, go forward quickly as, as we can. And that's... That's basically worked for us over the last few games. Um, and like I said the other night, you know, the concern is that they've got a few good footballers. It'll be, I think it'll be a good game for the neutral to, to watch. And I think for us, um, it'll definitely be a tester. Yeah, obviously Darlington was your first back, uh, back in charge. Um, how do you think things have come on across the entire team since then? Yeah, I mean, I, I remember going up there, I think we had 13 fit players. We had two lads from the uh, under-16s that were on the bench for us that day. And uh, we were struggling. And to, to come away with a, a one-all draw was a, was a great result for us. So we're, we're in a little bit better shape. We've got a deeper squad now as well. We've got a um, new signing with Will Richards. It's coming today. So hopefully that, that'll get over the line for Saturday as well. Um, that's going to probably counterbalance a couple of injuries and illness that we've got and uh, you know we'll, we'll just have a, a look at it uh, tonight. Yeah you mentioned there was a few um, injury concerns after Tuesday with Liam Cross um, and even Brandon Small. Have you got any updates since you couldn't really mention on Tuesday? Yeah we haven't really it's just that uh, we're just going to leave it to the to the last sort of few minutes to, to before we make a decision so um, you know, there's a couple of things that are just strains and pulls. We've got a couple of lads that are ill as well. So um, we're in a situation now where we're probably better if you get the next sort of two or three, two, two and a half days out of the way, and then you'll be able to assess it then, really. Yeah, last one for me. Obviously, you mentioned us again, there might be um, quite a few injuries that might put potential players not playing on Saturday. Um, Soon how they got on last Tuesday against Crossroads Development, how would you feel about putting potentially maybe some youth players in there? Yeah, we're always willing to do that as well. The, the you know the UDA boys that played on that night, they did did themselves proud. There was no no problems with any of them coming straight back into it. Um, the only thing that I would say is that um, you know a, a night on a training night, which we've seen them over the last uh, six or seven weeks. That's been brilliant for us because we get to look at them, they get to train with the first team. So it makes it a lot easier if, we, if we're going to be putting them in and including them into the first team squad. So, yeah, we've got no problem with that if uh, if that's what we have to do. Um, but I can see over the next uh, sort of several games that we're going to have to utilise them at some stage, I would have thought. Uh, so with you know, the potential of three wins on, on the bounce, but games in hand, do, is that something that, you try and not count your eggs sort of going into them how do you look at that yeah I don't really like it having games in hand really I just think you've got to, you know you get the points um, done and dusted and you've already got them in the bag so you're always playing catch up aren't you and there's always a little bit more pressure I think as a player that um, you feel that need to win because you've got you've got the games in hand but I mean the, the only thing we can do is that we could just crack on what we've been doing is is work reasonably well so far 
So, um, you know, there'll be games that we're expected to win that you're going to lose and, and vice versa. So it's going to be, uh, you know, sort of a roller coaster ride, I think, to the end of the season. And we'll just see how we get on. Uh, and finally, so we saw Danny get the winner um, on Tuesday. We also know Ben's been doing very well as well. Do you think they've helped each other? They have had some comparisons so far. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think um, Ben's a young righty, to be honest. Uh, you know, the way that he plays the game, the way that he sees the game, his, his strengths are very similar. He's uh, he's obviously, you know, sort of 20 years younger, so he's he's got a little bit more legs. And I, I think... Um, you know, it showed on Tuesday with him. He was he was ready for a game and he looked excited about it. I thought he did ever so well. The the only shame was that he didn't score his goal that probably he deserved. I, I know he missed a couple of chances. He had one really good one, I think, in the first sort of 20 minutes. Um, but uh, for all his running, then when we've put Danny on with the last 15 minutes to go, he's probably benefited from all of Ben's running. And, um, you know, to get that little bit of space in the box at that important time against somebody like um, Danny who scored the goals that he has, it was absolutely perfect. So I've got to say the cross was fantastic as well from, from Louis. So I'm pleased for him as well, you know, coming back from injury and a concussion. So, um, but at the moment, we're just tending to get a couple back and then we get a couple back out injured at the moment. So, uh, like I said, we're going to have to utilise everybody, I think. And we've got a double interview for you with Elliot Doral and Zach Geekock. Uh, so, darling, on Saturday, well, we'll go to you first. What, what's your head of that one? Um, yeah, obviously, uh, another very winnable game. Um, I think it was Gaffer's first game. Um, you know when he when he when he took over. So um, you know we're we're much different to, to the team that we were back then. Um, you know we're in good form in the league um, at home. We um, it, I think it's important that we you know we follow it up with a, with another win. Probably unlucky not to come away with, with a win back um, in that first game. What do you think maybe is different going into this one? Yeah, I just think we you know we we understand now a little bit more the way that the gaffer want, you know wants to set up and wants to play. Um, and I think you know we're a much much more confidence within the squad now. Um, you know, obviously results breed confidence, and you know we've picked picked those up lately. Um, so you know we're we're full of confidence going into the game. Obviously, last Saturday was disappointing, but um, you know is it, it, it's not really a, a priority as such. That you know, unfortunately, the situation that we find ourselves in in the league. Um, you know, it's important that we we. Um, Keep the league form as strong as possible, um, and, and, and you know, look to climb climb away from where we're at. So, Zach, onto onto you. We've, in the past, it's been some instances of maybe some late goals going in, um, unlucky at times as well. Um, but recently, that's changed, and you know, good save from yourself on Tuesday. What do you think's happened there to sort of improve that and stop them going in? Um, I think, to be fair, the lads have defended well for the majority of the season. Um, I think yeah we, we have conceded some late goals and some unlucky goals as well but sometimes the way football goes that's that's how it is and we're, we're starting to see the other side of it now and we're starting to get late winners ourselves and and really put in the performances to match the results because um, I think not only have we picked up good results over the past couple of games but we've also put the performances in to, to match up. So uh, we actually spoke to Liam last week, he spoke about the um, you two, you know, keeping a connection and, and helping each other. What What's your view on that, and, and how you two help each other to invest? Yeah, the best? Liam's been great to her since I've come in. Um, obviously, there's only one position to play as a goalkeeper, so someone's gonna gonna miss out, and and whoever that is, we're both supporting each other and, and making sure that that training's good throughout the week, and that coming on a match day, we're both supporting whoever's playing. So. Um, yeah, the the connection we've got is really good, and he pushes me to be a better goalkeeper, and I'd like to think that I do the same. Yeah, it's a few things for me. Obviously, as you mentioned, their performance has been getting better. Um, obviously, only a few months ago, you weren't particularly getting the results that were worthy of performances. Um, what do you think has changed for you to really score goals and create more? Um, I just think confidence. You know, confidence within the within the squad is is good. Um, you know, I've made no secret of it before. In in various other interviews I've done I think we've you know we've we've believed all season that you know we've got a squad that's more than capable of competing at this level um, for whatever reason it didn't happen early on in the season um, but you know certainly the last six seven games I think we've been a match for anybody um, 
you know we had we had a we went into the bar after the Scunthorpe game and a lot of their fans came up to us and said that we were the best team that had, that had gone there um, and you know I don't think anybody could have argued with that on the day same against Brackley if we'd have beaten them I don't think they could have argued about the result but you know now as you said results were starting to, to echo the performances um, probably barring last Saturday um, so it, it, you know football's Football's a funny old game, you know. When you when you when you're in a rut and you're losing, it's hard to get out of that. But when you're winning, it's it, you know it's like a snowball effect. And to be fair, the situation we find ourselves in at the moment, where we've got Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, you know, when you're winning, it's brilliant because you know you don't really have much time to think about anything in between. You go from game to game, and and you know you pick up consecutive wins, and within a week, it can look completely different. Yeah, obviously on on Saturday as well at Chipping, you played in a pretty unfamiliar position at right back. Um, how, what went into that idea um, to get into play there? Um, it's something that we'd worked on the, the week before in training. Um, you know, the gaffer obviously sees me as uh, confident on the ball, if you like. Um, so tried to get me as high as possible, as much as possible. Um, they sort of played a, a sort of an orthodox number ten, if you like. Um, so it it didn't really allow me to get as high as we probably would have liked, particularly in the first half. Um, but but listen, you know I'm I'm obviously 34. Um, still love the game, so you know wherever I'm playing, as long as I'm contributing to the team and and you know making a difference, then you know I'll, I'll play wherever wherever necessary. Yeah, and finally, just one for both of you. Um, obviously, as we say, first game was Darlington, um, and it's only been a few months. How do both think you've uh, come on since Mike's come in? Yeah, I think um, obviously the style of play has changed. Um, Personally, I'm, I know I'm comfortable playing that, that way and can mix it up, can play out from the back, can go along as well. And I think the we had a, a period of a few weeks where we had to settle into to the new way of playing, but I think all the lads are comfortable in doing that. And um, I think, like, like you see in our last performances, that now we're really showing how the philosophy that the new managers brought in and, and how we're in, implementing them in the game. Yeah, same. You know, I'm I'm familiar with you know fortunate enough to have played in a couple of teams that like to play the way that you know the gaffer wants us to play. Um, so you know that sort of suits my style of play as well. Suits my game. You know, being not, not being very tall, it doesn't probably doesn't help if if you know if we're booting up to, to to me or whatever. So you know, I'm I'm comfortable in possession. I like to take the ball in tight areas and you know get on the ball and be brave and drive through through lines. So. Um, so yeah, like, like I said, I think we're a completely different team now. Um, I'm sure they're probably different to how how they were. Um, but that being said, you know we can only control what we can control in our dressing room. And you know, as as I said a minute ago, I think that the last six to eight weeks, the performances that we've put in, we're we're, we're more than a match for anybody. So you know, we're full of confidence. We'll give them respect that they're due. Um, but you know, we're looking to win the game. And finally, we are going to speak to fan favourite himself, Harry Emmett bang into form recently, what would you say is the key behind that? Uh, I think like we just a plan of sticking together throughout the season. Like, obviously I know results haven't gone sort of our way, but um, I think once we had that first win sort of in the bag, we've gone through a run of games just playing well and I think it's just confidence really. Like we know we can do it on, on the game as you can see, like even on Tuesday night. Um, so I think if we could just keep the keep the run going, get a, got a good set of games coming up, so if we could pick some points out, that would be good. So. Yeah, we've seen you playing a bit more attacking role recently, and it's obviously worked as yeah. well. What's, what do you, what you say is like the key to your form as well? Uh, I think obviously with me personally, it's just working as hard as I can on the pitch. It's not necessarily maybe on the ball. It's like obviously with Cookie. He, he, it's more off the ball as well, so making the runs, making sure we're getting inside, tracking back, and then obviously yeah, I'd like to think I can do as much of the attack and threat as well, getting balls into the box, and um, obviously scoring goals. Um, that's sort of what I want to be out doing as well. So as long as I can contribute some more goals, that'd be yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, we've seen you playing on the left and the right as well. Which side would you say you prefer playing on? Uh, I don't really mind to be. I, I think wherever I'm, I, I'm happy wherever I am. Like on the left, I know I can I can use my left foot to get balls into the box more. And when I'm on the right hand side, I've got a chance of sort of cutting in and getting shots off. So. 
but I'm I'm happy to play around with to be honest. So yeah, whatever the guy wants. Yeah, just finally going into Dion's obviously massive game looking going into that full of confidence probably with the four yeah. recently. Yeah, I feel um obviously Darlington is a massive game. Obviously, I think we've got two games in hand sort of in front of everyone. So if we can get another win on Saturday, um that'll just put us right in it, do you know what I mean? So um yeah, Darlington is a is a very huge game on Saturday and hopefully uh, if we get the result and then again just keep going, keep going with a good run of form. So, yeah.